The British Army, which has included a steadily dwindling tank force since the end of the Cold War, has begun work on its next generation main battle tank, or MBT, the Challenger 3 upgrade. While the changing face of land warfare had seen speculation that the United Kingdom might do away with its tanks altogether, the situation in Eastern Europe, in particular, has seen the focus switch back to armored warfare. The 148 Challenger 3S, to be upgraded from existing Challenger 2s at a cost of around $1.3 billion, will be expected to ensure these capabilities remain intact until at least 2040. The Challenger 3 option was selected in favor of buying new off-the-shelf Leopard 2 tanks from Germany. Citing from the Drive website, the British Army has announced that a steel-cutting ceremony to mark the launch of the Challenger 3 upgrade work took place yesterday at Armstrong Works in Newcastle, northeast England. At this facility, Rheinmetall Bay Systems Land, RBSL, the prime contractor for the project, and subcontractor Pearson Engineering are completing the new turrets for the Challenger 3s. The turret fabrication being conducted here by Pearson Engineering is crucial for the delivery of a fully digitized turret, ensuring that our modernized main battle tank is the most lethal in Europe, said Brigadier Nick Cowie, the senior responsible officer for the Challenger 3 program. The all-new turrets are the most significant part of the upgrade, but other work addresses the hull, main gun, and various systems. The steel structures will house the turret subsystems which will ensure Challenger 3 as a network-enabled, digital main battle tank with state-of-the-art lethality, upgraded survivability, plus world-class surveillance, and target acquisition capabilities, the British Army added in a media release.